We're still on the charts though, Brian. Adiemi with a chance. And he's put it in. Adiemi with his second. Bournemouth have been, of course, put back where they belong. Looks for Noble. And now it's still up. Decent position. Goes for goal. Della puts it in. We deserve this, guys. Off the bench. Liam Della comes up with the goods. What do you look at this, guys? We're now on Twitter. S2GFC has its own official account on Twitter, which will update you with stats and a lot more. Some funny tweets as well. Let's just put it that way. This is going to add a whole new level of immersion for the series. We've got a Twitter account, basically a social media tab, something like what you've seen in the journey. So this is going to be a lot of fun. I'll be telling you what we'll be using it for and all as we get through the episode. But make sure you follow the official S2GFC Twitter account. Links will be in the description. But I don't know how we're going to be funding our social media team at this club because we're running so low on budget. It all depends whether we can sell some of the players we've tried transfer listed because if we can you could expect some signings in this episode last episode we blew pretty much all the money we had on Adiemi which I don't regret he's an amazing player but if we can sell some of the players we've transfer listed before the window shuts there's a lot we could do there's certainly a lot of cool signings we can make so it all depends on that whether we're making new signings or not in this episode also if you haven't realized take a look at this we're playing a game against a premier league team in leeds united this should be interesting it's in the fa cup the grind continues in the creator club series a brand new social media tab being added to the series that's going to make it so much more realistic we've got a game against leeds transfer madness all around the window or the last remaining days of the window because we're trying to sell players that we don't want to keep so a lot can happen in this one if you're enjoying the series you know what to do drop a like in the video i want each one of you guys watching the video to drop a like it really helps you know push the content out there subscribe as well for daily fifa 22 career mode content and let's get things underway before we get into of course a press conference let me just show you what we're going to be using this social media feature for basically it's going to be a way to update you guys with a lot of cool stats and all information like that updates for the team and also stuff like this which i'm sure a lot of you guys are going to be excited for player of the episode voting will now happen on this account so you guys can get involved at the end of every episode check the twitter page and make your vote count and get involved in the player of the episode voting so it's going to be super cool one thing i'm also seeing or thinking of is maybe adding some of your tweets that you put out on this account or just at s2gfc whatever and featuring some of them cool ones in the video what do you guys think about that maybe we should do that as well for a segment let me know what you think but yeah this should be a really fun feature make sure you get involved get interacting with the s2 gfc account we're kicking off the episode now with a press conference and some really good questions to start off shane human this career has been amazing but will you put him as a captain role i must say cabri this season is going to be our captain but eventually with his age i feel like cabri will move on and then options looking at the team shane hume is the only correct one for captaincy he's got a fair bit of experience he will be fairly high rated so i don't think he's going to be captain this season but in the future shane hume as captain of our created club i want that to happen i'm desperate to see that happen so expect to see that maybe happen either next season or the season after but i think shane hume is a born leader oh this one's interesting what storylines are you looking to include for the kits and the stadium upgrade i told you guys we're running something for this you'll have to be patient next episode we'll talk about the stadium upgrade okay there's going to be something involved regarding our transfer budget for next season and all that. So just giving you all a quick hint, but it's going to be epic. Trust me, this series is going to get only better as we progress. So bit of patience. Next episode, you guys will figure out what we're doing for the stadium stuff. Now, next up, do you think your signings so far have been a success? Ooh, questioning my transfers. In my opinion, Tanganga has been good, but Harvey Elliott sometimes is a bit sus. Don't you think? I think Tanganga's over exceeded expectations. He's gone up by six ratings as well this season. Helped by the fact that we've changed his position. But still, Harvey Elliott on the other hand, I'm still noticing has been very good. Scored some key goals, key winners, assists as well. So hard to say that he's not been a good signing. Plus for the money we paid, it was an absolute bargain. So I think the transfers we've made have all been fantastic. So Delap, 
actually just for 2 million was also an unbelievable bargain. So I'm going to stick by the signings we've made. They've been very smart and very effective. Blade of the episode goes to Adi Emi. It was a tough one. This is the last episode we're doing without the vote. And Blade of the episode for the next one, there's going to be a vote on that Twitter page. Make sure you go and get involved. Adi Emi last episode scored a brace in the FA Cup game, helped us get to the next round. And I got to go with him. Like, he, one of his first starts for the club, he ends up scoring a lovely header and a brilliant finish after. It's got to be him. As I said before, today's episode, we could either have no signings or a lot of signings. It just completely depends on what happens with the likes of Wright, Ophir and Andreas. If we can sell even just Andreas, we're making some transfers, we're improving the team. So it all depends on what happens with the offers we receive. At least on deadline day, I'm hoping we can offload some of them. That would be really helpful. And guys, I am seeing your comments. I am seeing a lot of suggestions coming in to look at free agents, but none of them particularly impress me, man. We will... I don't, I don't think any of them are good. Like, the best one is maybe Nicole, Nikolai Alho. But I think I signed him in one of my previous career modes and he was like pretty average. So I'm not too sure about him. The others are all just so average. Like none of these players are impressive at all. We'll scout this guy just in case he turns out being semi-decent. But yeah, not too many good free agents available right now on the market, guys. Just being honest. Now, since we do have a game against Leeds United coming up, we really can't be getting any transfer business done. We need to get through this game first. FA Cup, Leeds United, our first test against the Premier League team. I'm actually excited for this one. Guys, we're having to give Duchette a chance. Or Duchette, how do you say his name? I don't know, but I just noticed he's 66 rated and just 18. What a talent. Why have I not been using him earlier? We're putting him on the pitch for this one. Plus, I'm giving Reggie Nicholas a bit of a rest. He deserves it. So, Adiemi starts on the left. We've got Delop starting along with Brian. A few changes. Leeds have got class players like Phillips, Rafinha, and Ketia up top. This is going to be a challenge. Plus, I do want to wear my home kit for this game. I'm not a fan of this away kit. When we're doing this segment about our kits, I will need you guys to get involved. Anyways, let's freaking do this. Leeds United versus S2 GFC FA Cup. I want to get this done with now. Either I want to get knocked out or I want to go through. I don't want a replay. Okay, I'm not a fan of the snowy conditions we're playing in. And to make it worse, Leeds are wearing white. I can barely see them on the pitch, guys. I can barely even see the ball. This, this is designed to kick us out of the FA Cup. Like, what even is this? This is... Yeah, like I'm being honest, this is not going to be easy to play through. My eyes are genuinely hurting playing this. Like, I can barely figure out anything here. I, I don't want to go through this, but it's the FA Cup, so I want to still give it a good go as Silva gets it away. I can't even see the player names properly. This is, this hurts. <laughs> this, this is not fun at all. As Shane Hume, I don't know how he's seeing the ball, but a good save from him. Tanganga, lovely switch to the other side for the youngster Dushed. By the way, you guys have been telling me to use him a lot more, and I am now, as it's Hernandez, driving it forward, but that's not the run you want for Adiemi. I know we're using him out wide as a left midfielder for this game, but that's the only option, because I'm trying to, of course, give Reggie Nicholas a bit of well-deserved rest. Good ball into the box, but that's easy-peasy for Tanganga, and we can bring it forward now. It's Liam Delap looks for Adiemi, and there's spaces opening up here. Adiemi is absolutely rapid. Here he goes. Can he bring it inside? I tried the fake shot, but just couldn't. Leeds actually defend that incredibly well. Ah, oh, Duchette has been caught out here, so Cabri is going to end up helping him out. I might just be able to go there with Duchette. But again, good play from Leeds. We're seeing why they're a Premier League team right there, but Duchette puts a good challenge in. Why haven't I been using him for all season? Like, I don't know. we got to be using him more. Oh, this, this does look a bit problematic. Tanganga does a very good job. Oh. He almost committed a foul that he did, but they've decided to cross it and it's relentless attacking from Leeds. We're holding on so far, but how long can we do that? We need something special to pop up from someone as Hernandez is making a good run right here. If I can get it onto my right foot and the cross for Liam. Ah, oh, the header, he couldn't connect with it properly. And Ketia looks to bring inside now. It's click. They've got a chance here and Ketia shoots and Shane Hume with a big save. Oh, James looking very tired, but he's still giving it his all. A really good run from him there. But again, leads the pressure they're putting with Bielsa's tactics. It's getting the better of us, man, and we're really struggling to do much. And I can barely even see the ball as Shane Hume somehow can and makes another mad save. 
half time so far we've survived and held our own against Leeds United but how long can we do this here we go Liam that's a lovely release for Adiemi. what can he do here it's a difficult angle but if he scores from here it'll be insane Adiemi has done it again in the FA Cup for us that's his third goal all his goals that he scored for us have come in the FA Cup and if I may say so myself against the run of play we've managed to score against Leeds United we're on somehow a dream FA Cup run Liam Delap finding Adiemi there and Adiemi slotting that one home two players that could define this series combining incredibly well and guess what guys we're 1-0 up against Leeds in the FA Cup. Let's not mess this up. Guys, what just happened? I wasn't even concentrating all that much because I thought we had it covered there, but out of nowhere, Enketia unleashes an effort. Wow, okay. Leeds United make it 1-1. Literally moments after, of course, we took the lead. Fair enough, I guess. Corner as Click puts it into the box. And we do get it away. Not far off though, and they might still have a chance. It's Click. Puts it in for Enketia. Now Dallas puts this one back in. What a header that is. Shane Hume with an incredible save again. Ball comes into the box, and the header straight at Shane Hume. Why aren't my defenders clearing the ball away when I ask them to? I don't get it, and now the pressure from Leeds has increased as well. They've got chances here. We're struggling defensively. It's Harrison, could look for a ball in, finds it, and the header is saved miraculously by Shane Hume. This has been a Shane Hume save compilation game. He's doing everything for us. Rafinha puts this one in, Tanganga finally clears it away, but I just don't know what to do. We just can't get the ball away from danger. It's a chance for Rafinha. We're struggling to get the ball away from danger, and somehow they miss again. I just can't believe it, man. We're just struggling. I can't even keep up with them right now. I can't keep up with Leeds. The pressure, the fact that I can barely see the ball. It's all adding up as Leeds United make it 2-1. We could be crashing out of the FA Cup. Huh. Silva. Brian. Maybe he's the man who could get us a goal back as he puts this one in. Harvey Elliott with the miss of the season. What's he done there? How has Harvey not put that in? Oh my days. Harvey Elliott, no. You have to be scoring that. I was just saying you've been very good so far this season. And you do that. Ay, ay, ay. Leeds United coming for four. This time it's Mason Greenwood in the 88th minute. No, it's not Mason Greenwood. It's another Greenwood. Whichever Greenwood it is. Scored against us. Leeds United make it 3-1. We're getting kicked out of the FA Cup. Maybe it's for the good guys. I'll explain at full time. King very nice as I put this one into the far post for James. Brian... How what the chances we've wasted in this game. You know, we were very competitive with Leeds, which gives me confidence for potentially next season, but the finishing has just been atrocious. Plus, you know what, the visibility, I'm gonna blame a lot of it on that as well. But I think it's gonna be full time anytime now. There you go. Game comes to an end. We're out of the FA Cup, but maybe that's for the good. Because we can now focus on the championship and secure promotion for next season, because that is the major objective. Disappointment in the FA Cup can be fixed if we can just get those players I want to sell sold quickly. But offers just not coming in. I don't want to be loaning out Savage, man. Like, come on. Just give me transfer offers for players I want to sell so I can make improvements to our team. It's getting frustrating not being able to do anything. Like, honestly, I want to make those transfers. Finally, we get an offer for Offie and this is big. You know what? I'm not messing about. Four million is fair. Oh, do I mess about? Nah, I'm just going to accept it, guys. I don't want to mess about. We finally got an offer for Ophia. That four million is going to be very, very useful for us to make a signing. And we get a fairly good offer. Nah, it's not a good offer. 5.1 million for Brian. I don't want to be selling him at all. We got Chaloba in exchange. Okay, interesting. Don't want to be loaning out Savage as well. Hopefully, the Ophia deal goes through quickly. Oh, wow. In the midst of, of course, all the transfer stuff and waiting of finding out whether Ophir is sold or not and we can make more signings or not we've got a game against Sheffield in a game where if we win we go top of the championship that's right we'll be leaders in the championship right now and that should solidify our position as 
proper contenders and the team to of course secure that first spot and automatic promotion so big game in the championship for us after which hopefully we'll be able to dwell into some transfer stuff Ooh, a message from Adiemi. i just want to say i'm ready to do whatever is necessary to make us successful you'll do it for me man we used you as left midfielder you were great you scored as well but i plan to use you as a striker Okay, guys, we're back to using our strongest 11. All the first team boys are back. Adiemi starts up top at striker. Sheffield using a back five. Makes things tricky, but I want to win this game and go top of the championship. Huge freaking game in the championship that could decide the fate of the championship, basically. It's the top two facing each other. It's too early to say that this is going to be a decider or anything, but still, it's a big game. Harvey Elliott, and I see Brian looking to make a good run. If he can somehow pressure... Ah, oh, couldn't there, but that might be a smart move. Adiemi, Brian, and now it's Harvey Elliott in a bit of space. And we know what Harvey Elliott can do when you give him that space. He's unbelievably dangerous. Well, not in that instance. <laughs> okay, we're in a bad position right now, but Shane Hume is there to save us. What a save from, of course, the world's best keeper. There, I've said it. That's a good ball in, and we've just been caught out. Basham with the header. Thankfully, way above the crossbar. I just couldn't defend that for some reason. Good ball for them. And oh, that's brilliant football. But they couldn't pull off the final pass. But Sheffield are playing some good football. You can see why they're top of the championship rankings right now. You, you can literally see it why. Oh, we've now got Harvey Elliott in a bit of space. Working his way inside. Going for that finesse shot. I tried something there, but just couldn't pull it off. Adiemi now looking for Brian who can control that. But I try and bring the ball inside. And that's where I struggle so much. It's... It just doesn't work on this year's game. Cabri with a good challenge. And now Harvey Elliott playing a bit more centrally. Out wide for Noble. Haven't seen much from him in a while. Still Noble here looking for options. But ah, Sheffield just defends so deep. And it's working for them. Fair play. Oh, Harvey Elliott in space in the second half already here. We've opened up some more space. Adiemi's made a good run. If he can bring it inside, which he can, fires this one in the net. This guy is something special. His first goal in the championship, Adiemi. He's going to carry us for seasons to come. Because every time he gets the ball, you just get that feeling something's going to happen. And it does. What a finish from Adiemi as we take the lead against Sheffield. And we take the lead in the championship. Big, big goal for the club. Harvey Elliott now. Looking promising as usual. I'm going for the cross. Oh, I couldn't really get my head on that one. We might still have something to do. Nope, we don't. Chance for Sheffield out of nowhere. A finesse shot popping up. Of course, Shane Hume is equal to it. Shane Hume has had a phenomenal episode, guys. I know we lost the game to Leeds, but the amount of saves we've seen from him in, in, in this game itself. The guy's an absolute legend, and there you go. Talk about a save. That is unreal. His saves are going to keep us at the top of the championship after this game. Oh, they've got a chance here to score, but Shane Hume, man, somebody just, oh, I have no words, I have no words, the amount of saves we've seen him make, it's just crazy, he's got to win player of the episode at this rate, 100%, oh, that's a smart pass for Reggie Nicholas, back inside for Brian, another chance, can't score off that, Noble falls for Adiemi, there is the drag back, hasn't worked, so we're going back for Silva, Ah, they win that one, but not much time left. Let's just hold out and get the job done. They've got another chance here, and Shane Hume, guys, guys, guys. Ah. There's only so much a man can do. There is only so much a man can do. Disappointing to concede that, at the very least. But they deserved it. The amount of saves Shane Hume made, at one point we were going to concede. We were just, yeah, we weren't good enough in this game. Full time, that was the last kick of the game. So Sheffield keep their spot at the top with that. Frustrated, man. Really am. And yeah, Sheffield keep their spot at the top. A couple of points advantage. We concede so many late goals, man. It's frustrating. Anyways, for now, let's just focus on what's the transfer window going to do to us. Are we going to end up selling a few players and bringing in new players? Let's hope so. And there you go. Talk about a player sale happening quickly. Ophir has been sold for 4 million. There isn't much time left. We need to act quick if we want to make signings. We're looking at a budget of about 3 million and 80,000 in the bank. Oh my. What do we sign? Who do we sign? Huh. <sighs> It's going to be difficult figuring that one out. Honestly, guys, I've had my eyes set on Xavi Simmons for a while. He's now playing for Bayer Leverkusen. If we can get him, honestly, I feel he's one for the future. 
I'm willing to spend this money on him right now, honestly. I also looked at pre-contract options. There weren't many. So I feel like Xavi Simmons is the next best value for money signing. I'm going to start off with a 2.2 million offer. I just want to be smart about it and see what they're willing to say. They're willing to sell him to us for 2.4. I think it's worth it. He's, he's going to be growing rapidly, I feel, because he's got high potential. I'm going to run with this, guys. For that fee getting Xavi Simmons, we're going to have to figure out where we want to play him. Maybe we can move Harvey Elliott back to the right side and Xavi Simmons in that attacking midfield role. That could be a smart idea. Or we can figure something out. But I've got a few good ideas with Xavi Simmons coming in. We'll give him rotation squad role. He should accept that. And that's what he does. A five-year deal works out perfectly for me. Disregarding the release clause, these are his wage demands. We'll give him the same wage as he's earning. And of course, PSG because don't want him getting upset or anything. So we're offering him a good contract as well. And there you go. We've just signed Xavi Simmons on deadline day for a fairly good fee. And there's still nine hours left. If we can sell more players, you just don't know what will happen. Let's see. And there you go, guys. We've won the race for Xavi Simmons. The Barca starlet or former Barca starlet, former PSG player is now playing for our club. Very, very happy with this signing. 10 hours to go on transfer deadline day. We've just made our transfer, but anything else could happen on deadline day. You never know. I'm just hoping we can sell Andreas. But we get an offer for Cabri. I'm not interested in selling Cabri, man. We need an offer for Andreas. Because if we sell him quickly and sign a center back, that would be ideal. And yes, guys, just one hour to go on deadline day. I guess we're going to just use the squad we have. We weren't able to sell Andreas, but bringing in Xavi Simmons, I think, was a very, very smart transfer. What I'm thinking that will do for us is we play Elliot out wide there. We put in Xavi Simmons here or Hernandez, whoever. And that's a good idea. It lacked much needed squad depth, guys. And I'm very excited for that. Love that signing. But basically, this is the kind of squad we'll be working with until the end of this season. And I'm very happy with it. I, I think I think we should be able to get automatic promotion. Pushing for the title, though, that's going to be the real, real challenge. But I'm up for it. Also, got to be putting a development plan on Xavi Simmons. It'd be wrong not to. I'm thinking we give him one for the skill moves first. But actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to give him one for the skill moves first. Vision will go up as well. Let's do that. We now focus on the championship as we're playing Luton Town, which we're going to quick sim because our team's fully fit in their 15th. We do end up winning. Elliot scoring. Noble as well. Perfect scenario for us. Once again, another team that aren't really doing all that well in the championship. Cardiff for 18th. We're going to get this one out of the way as well, preferably with a win. Just about Adiemi scoring the crucial goal. Let's go. Look at this graphic, boys. Top scorer, Oliver Bryan. 31 matches, 25 goals. What a player to have absolutely what a freaking player to have we've got to run a fairly simple game so we keep the simulation theme going and just getting another game in the championship out of the way this time it's a nil nil draw i'm not happy with that we're surprisingly finding ourselves in a run of very easy games where we're playing pretty much the bottom half of the table so let's just take advantage of it get these games out of the way and we keep winning and adiemi keeps scoring as well oh we finally get offers for players i'm looking to sell dexter harding 28 year old Give me the money. We'll probably get the cash next season, but I'm okay with selling him. I don't need him, guys. I really don't. It's the smart thing to do, just getting rid of him. And if you haven't noticed, guys, we're top of the championship now with those games that we just won. We went on a good run of form. 74 points right now in the championship. One above Sheffield. Things are looking fantastic for us, boys. Absolutely fantastic. All right, guys, because I'm running super late today because I got to go out, I'm only doing a couple of games in this episode. But next episode, we'll be back with the three games and a lot more in simulation routine. Plus, next episode, there's news about the stadium upgrade. So stay tuned for that. And what an episode we've had, guys. Out of nowhere, we signed Xavi Simmons. Next episode, we'll give him his debut. And apart from that, Tanganga 81. That's great. Adiemi going up in his overall. So players are increasing in their rating already. Savage up to a 74. Love to see that, boys. Played of the episode for me. There'll be a vote on the official Twitter account, S2GFC. Make sure to check that out. But I'm looking at Hume. He, it's got to be him. 78 rated now, Shane Hume. What a keeper we have in our ranks. But with that, guys, this is where we're wrapping up today's episode of the Creator Club Career Mode series. If you're enjoying this series, enjoying the vibe, enjoying the grind, I'd really appreciate it if you could spare a second and drop a like on the video. Helps out a lot. Subscribe as well for daily FIFA 22 Career Mode content. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow for another episode of the series. Peace.